powerful voice when Good Morning America. Was Catherine will sing her show-stopping song from Annie Warbucks, but right now we have a chance to chat a bit. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Do you know what it means to be compared to Ethel Merman? Do you even know who she is? Well, I've seen um, one of the movies that she's been in, um, the, the show business one. Uh huh. So you know that uh -huh. she had some right. voice. voice huh? Right. <laughs> How did you get this role? Well, um, I was doing a production of. Annie in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, where I live, and I was the high school production, and um, I played Molly, and then I... One of the to, orphans, right? One of the orphans, yep. right. Then I went to Oklahoma City and did a production of Annie, and I played Molly again, and Bill Berlone, scatting the dog, who was looking, who played Sandy, um, talked to my mother after, at the opening night party, and said that I should go and audition. So, so the man, so the man who trains the dog, Sandy right. the dog, right. happened to see you and mm -hmm. told your mom you should have your little girl go audition. Right. So you went to the audition in Houston, and I auditioned and I got the role as Duffy for Annie Warbucks, the sequel of On the Tour. Isn't so. that something so exciting? And now you've moved here, right? Right. And and Sandy the dog. Now we should just say that the dogs come did from I hear? the Humane Society. From the shelter. So they save dogs from, from right. the dog pound. Mm -hmm. How nice. And that's your little co-star there too, right? right. Is that fun? Has, yes. has everything gone okay on stage so far? Yes. No disasters on stage? No. You're living in, in Greenwich Village, I hear. A little different yes. from Broken Arrow? Mm -hmm. What do you like best about it? <laughs> I just, New York is uh, it's, it's much different than Oklahoma. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. Do you miss your friends? I mean, this could go for a long time. Mm -hmm. I mean, this show could have a long run. Right. Do you miss your friends? Oh, yeah, but uh, see, most of them will come to New York and see the show, and so you get used to it. Now, how are you going to handle school? Do you have a private tutor? Well, we're going to have a tutor next week. We start, Oklahoma starts school next week, and um, it ends in May. So they're going to be so. faxing work back and forth right. to you and things? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that old fax machine so we'll have, school. We'll have a tutor. All right, now, do you want to grow up now and be in show? But first of all, when was the first time you were ever on stage performing in front of people? Uh, well, it was in 1992, 1991, and I, um... <laughs> well, my, by my recollections, that's about a year ago, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> about eight years, about seven, eight years old. Now, do you want to do this when you grow up? Have you kind of gotten, this is really great? Uh-huh. I, yeah? I love to sing, and I love acting. It's so much fun, and it's, it's exciting. But I, I want to be an artist. I want to be all kinds of things. So. You want to be an artist, too? Can mm -hmm. you draw? Can you draw, like, some of those cartoons and things that they yeah. show of Annie? Yeah. All right, well, hey, listen, you've got a lot of time to decide, but in the meantime, people can enjoy you in the show, Annie Warbucks, which is a sequel, uh -huh. but we're going to take a break for a commercial. And when we come back, we are going to... And now accompanied by Keith Levinson, the musical director of Annie Warbucks, here's Catherine Zaremba singing her showstopper, I Always Knew. I always knew, knew that tomorrow would come true. I always when it was dark with not one star up in the sky hey i still knew i said my prayers and i would go to sleep believing i guess the trick is that you gotta keep believing cause when you do there are 